Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here with part 3 of my Dino Charge Megazord reviews. This is the Platino Charge Megazord, which belongs to the Purple Ranger of the series. So, as you can see here, this is a vaguely plesiosaurus themed submarine slash spaceship type vehicle. You have to excuse the yellowing plastic, I've had this thing in storage for quite some time away from sunlight, so I have no idea how it got this badly yellowed. I'll have to hydrogen peroxide for white plastic to fix that after this review is over. As you can see, this thing is quite a large, chunky thing based on the Plesiosaurus dinosaur, which is basically just an underwater sauropod type, you know, long neck dinosaur that everybody knows about. So, to transform from submarine to spaceship mode, just unfold the wings like so. And now I can fly through space as well as swimming underwater to fight off the monster of the week. As you can see, like all Megazords from the series, it comes with its own dino charger, number 9. So, two clicks. And it's ready to activate. This side of the dino charger glows in the dark if you expose it to sunlight long enough and then turn it into complete darkness, but no time to deal with that right now, so open the Plesiozoid's mouth, pull the charger all the way in, like so, close the mouth, and use this little lever underneath the front landing wheel to slide it all the way in, and a couple of cannons spring up from the inside of this piece here. So, to transform from spaceship mode to Megazord mode is going to require a lot of parts forming, so don't get mad at me in the comments for how much this thing parts forms. So, first you want to take these pieces out. Then, remove the Plesiozord head. Close these pieces and remove the ends of the wings. Like so. Due to the age of these figures, I do always worry about things breaking when that kind of sound happens. Then remove this piece from the underside, and remove this piece. Now that we're done removing pieces, we can move for pieces that are still attached around a bit. So, ratchet these pieces up, split the legs, rotate these around them, flip them outwards. This way all the yellowing damage faces the back, thank goodness. Then attach these pieces to the other side like so to become the feet. Now I can stand properly. Attach only the left fist. I'll explain why in a second. Then attach the right fist onto the backpack like a jetpack thruster. Be extremely wary of the amount of friction in these holes though. Then connect the plesiosaur head onto the other arm like so. Although you can technically have the yeah, plesiosaur head disconnected and uh, two arms, it was never actually shown that way in the show. It's always been shown with this arm being the plesiosaur head. Then attach this piece to the back side like so, out of the way. And finally this piece becomes the head, so put it on this way like so. And slide this piece up to reveal the inside face. Again with the Plesio Charge Megazord, like the Dino Charge Megazord Tristego formation I reviewed last time, not much articulation, mostly just ratcheted points here. Except there is an inward outward bit for transformation with the shape of the shoulders. No knees again on this figure, but you do get a swivel where the knee should be. And you also get, whoops ratcheted in and out and forward back motion, but being careful because you can pop the leg off with ratchet joint doing that. Luckily it just pops straight back on again. 
as I found the easy, easy way when I was taking this thing out of storage to prepare for a review last night. Just plug the leg back in like so. Now for size comparison, here it is with the Dino Charge Magazine tri stento Formation. And with the Samurai Gigazard. The connections that allow these arms to attach are also the same connection ports that he used for the arms or on the other main or combinations of this line. Sorry, got a wet on my arm just there. So, for example, you can attach the Plesiozord to the Packazord by taking this arm piece off. Attaching both arm pieces to the backpack, like jetpack thrusters. Then attaching the Packazord like so. And this is the Plesio Charge Mangazord Packer Formation. There is another combination that the Plesio Zord and the Packazord can do with the T Rank Zord, but I'll get into that when I review the Packazord. So, that more or less concludes my review. I have been Sandblaster1987. Join me next time when I'll be continuing part 4 of the Dino Charge Mangazord reviews when I review the Packazord and the Plesio Charge Mangazord Packer X Formation. For those who don't know, I have got the Japanese version of this set, Pleasant One, coming from Arte, so stay tuned for a future review of the start of October. Till then, till all are one, may the power protect you, always.